What's going on, everybody? We're back again for yet another video, another mod showcase. Uh, I hadn't been on in a couple of days. I've uh, been busy and got on seeing this and knew I just needed to show you all this. Um, we have a 6x6 Duramax now. And it ain't no fake... Let's go ahead and hop in it real quick. It ain't no fake-ass 6x6 with that dead axle. No, we got a true 6x6. That is right. We'll go ahead and open this up. This is a repository mod, so uh, I am looking in the wrong place. Right over here, we have the D Series 6x6. Six six. If we go right down here, we have the 6x6 six six D Series. That's right, welcome. This is my first real Beeman G mod, and this is. Something I have wanted to exist for a long time. This mod adds two new frames, the crew cab and single cab. D-series that have an extra slot for a third axle. With normal axle pushed forward to allow for space. The crew frame also allows for upfits to be added. I did not re I realize that. Actually, I did. I remember seeing the screenshots now, actually. To increase its versatility, I, re I reused BMG assets such as possible reduced sales, blah, 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 blah. Alrighty, so here's what we have. We have, and of course, as you can see, this is the repository mod here. It is 6x6D series. It has this. It does have options for dualies. There it is with the rollback. Just fucking amazing shit. Um, we're going to go back and go into the actual game. This one is a Duramax, the one we are currently using. So we're going to go ahead and start it. Fiddles. Um, why are you not working? Okay. Anyway, my key was being stupid. Um, before we get too far into this, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all of that, as it really helps us out. Um, leaving a like really helps with YouTube's algorithm. And helps more people get to see the video. Um, we are at the Tough Truck Challenge. And we're just going to drive around with this for a few. I wasn't trying to make this too long of a video. It's like, fuck, I don't even know. 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm filming this. Yeah, we do have a 6x6. And in the normal mode like this right now, it is only... What? Okay, I'm actually confused. Um... Lock that in. Okay, so it is constantly, always, no matter what, both rear axles have power. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hear on the Tough Truck Challenge. Um, it is an automatic with a uh, LB... Uh, let's see. I don't even remember what Duramax engine this is. This is the... Do -do -do. Where the hell are you? Uh, LB7. With the six-speed Allison, although the interior is still has the uh, the shifter because I uh, didn't change it. All right, we are officially hung up, so we're just gonna lock the transfer case and lock the rear disc and see if we can go up it. All right, looks like we gotta lock everything in already. don't remember exactly what tire size these were. It does allow for um, 6 and 8 lug, although I will say, um, I think it's the far rear axle is really weird. It does not allow like half of the, uh, the wheels. Like, there's wheels that just aren't there. This is a absolute animal off-roading. As it should be. I mean, it's a 6x6. And a Duramax. Oh, we busted the rear window. I do expect us to still tear it up, of course. Because this is the Tough Truck Challenge. And you do tear stuff up pretty aggressively, actually. This does have the option for the gooseneck hitch, though. So... There may be some towing stuff coming soon with this. Okay, we just 
just power through all of this like it's nothing. Oh, we're we broke a drive shaft and we bent the hell out of the front axle. I think we collapsed the front shocks. I'm 100% sure we've collapsed the front shocks. Oh, engine oil critical. We uh we have punctured the oil pan too. That front axle has gave up the ghosts. I'm not even sure what the hell is holding the front axle in. Oh, we've snapped the leaf's plumb off of it. I think the... I don't know what's even holding the front axle in. I'm not sure what drive shaft we broke. Uh... It's the front axle, okay. No, we still have those two rear axles. We should be fine. Continue on. We'll just brute force our way through it like we've been doing it as long as we don't lose the steering. Get a little first person action going on for a few. Oh, shit. Steering. Steering is getting horrible. What is holding that axle in? I think it's just the shocks. The shocks is literally all that's holding those in. It's that front axle in place now. And I don't think... They're not working too well. I'm pretty sure they've completely collapsed. Go back to first person. Go ahead and beat the hell out of this thing going up its... Fucking holy shit. I still have steering at the moment, yes. Get back in third person. I don't know how if the critical oil ever the oil. Let me get tongue tied real quick for y'all. I don't know how, with the critical oil level, this thing is still running. Come on! Alrighty, looks like we're gonna have to roll backwards. A little bit. Try and get a little better run at it. This is a section where I'd really like to have that front axle, but it is a six by six. We can push through it. Yeah, you could definitely, some, a lot of the custom body mods and stuff, you could definitely set up some super nice builds. And definitely expect a lot to see more from this. We could do some pr something pretty crazy as a drag racing thing out of it. Six by six drag racer. Oh, we whole damn wheel came off. Oh, where steering is, I believe, completely gone. Just about it. You see that fancy radiator? We somehow haven't busted. Now we can put our foot back in it and try and go. Come on. You can do it. It definitely it survived the tough truck challenge. That fucking front axle has gave up the ghosts, though. I'm trying to do it. Ah, I was trying to do a donut, but it is not having it. Try and just tear it up as much as we can. Try and get back to where we started over here. Oh, we got a rod knock. Alrighty, and I think that's where we're going to end it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that. And until next time, later on.